Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. And today we will learn this beautiful business infographic slide design and it has got these six options which you can use for your business presentations. And it has also this background animation which looks really awesome. So we will learn that as well. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share this video. So let's begin with the tutorial. First is to insert a circle and then duplicate it. For the first circle, remove outline. For the second circle, remove its fill. Then change the outline color. Slightly increase the width and increase the size of the second circle like this and place it at the center behind the main circle then again duplicate go to merge shapes option open path and remove this point again delete the six, uh, next point then delete the third point and now you are left with this portion of the circle just rotate it and, then, and now you can place it over the outline that we had created and zoom in zoom in on the slide so that we can adjust the rotation angle change it to 315 degrees to match the angle now change the shape outline color to something like dark gray so that we can select it and see it properly reduce the width to one point and increase the width of the arc that we had created change the type to rounded dash type and cap type to round And for the main circle, fill white color, add shadow effect, increase the blurness to like more than 20 points. You can keep the distance between like 15 points, increase the transparency to like 80 points or 80%. And you can further, you know, experiment here. And in the end, you will get something like this. And I've also placed this color palette. So I have matched the color and now the main shape for the infographic is complete. And for this outline circle, delete the points by using merge shapes option, delete the second point. And now we are left with semicircle outline only. Now select all these components, press Ctrl plus G to group them together, duplicate, create the second circle or the second in infographic shape, flip it vertically and make sure both are aligned to middle. You have to manually adjust it by zooming in on the slide. Now place a line here by inserting this line. You can draw it. Increase the width to one point. Change the color to match the outline of the semicircle add arrow duplicate actually we need a line with two arrows in the middle like this now again insert a line for that we have duplicated it and remove its end arrow type and in the end you will get a shape like this then join these together 
and change the color of this arc to the second color in our palette that is yellow so this is how you can create the further infographic components of this slide the process is simple So I have changed the color of the outline to make it a bit darker because it wasn't that visible on the white background. So I made it one tone darker. Now duplicate the line or you can insert a new line as well and place it on the left side and change the begin arrow type to this dot or point. So now we have these two components and we will reuse these components to create our infographic. So that's the beauty of a presentation. You can reuse the components. Now select all these together, duplicate and place next to the original infographic components. Again duplicate because we need these five circles. Now we just have to adjust these connectors here and we have to we, we can use the connectors that we have already created. So just duplicate the line and place it at the end. And change the end arrow type to dot and arrow type select dot and here we need that two arrows shaped line and we can duplicate it from the first circle that we have created for that we have to go to the previous component and from there we can duplicate and place on the second and the fourth slide sorry not on the slide but between the circles So just duplicate and paste here and just adjust manually by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So now you have joined these together again duplicate and place it after the third circle as well. And yeah the infographic design is now complete. And if you see it's not that difficult. It's a game of placing the shapes in a correct order so similarly you have to place these connectors by duplicating them and manually adjust the four circle by using the arrow keys on your keyboard and and once it is done your infographic design is ready now we just have to change the colors here select this arc and use the eyedropper pick the color from the color palette and it will automatically change the color so that's one of the good features or very useful feature in office 365 initially the eyedropper tool wasn't there but now it's here so it's really easy to fill the desired colors now select all these press ctrl plus g this will group them together and hold shift and and then reduce its size with the help of your mouse from the corner while holding the shift key so now this infographic design is ready and we have to fill some content here and for that let's start with icons 
and icons are already there in this office 65 version all uh, all i had to do here is just insert them and select the one that are most suitable and here i have inserted these random icons and these are related to some mechanical work like a paint bucket then some oil rig or some oil extraction something then there is this cutter so yeah so you can add the icons related to the points you have the options you want to mention here so once placed make sure these are well aligned you can use the align option like i am using here and once these are in the center again we will pick the eyedropper tool and fill the matching colors so you can use google images and there are many online websites where you can create color palettes i use coolers.co c o o l o r s.co and there are many other websites as well which you can use there are many apps as well now insert this small circle and fill the color from the palette now duplicate again and place next to it again duplicate and place next to the previous circle and in the end you have these five circles make sure these are aligned to middle and distribute them horizontally now change the color as per the color palette second is yellow third is green then fourth is blue and fifth is also something blue so i was just you know beautifying this title area and of course the presentation slide deck that you are using must be having that title area or that slide master but if you are using a plain presentation slide like this you can create a beautiful title area now insert this alphabet a so we are just numbering these circles as a b c d e but you can also use numbers and if you don't want them you can add title here for each of these circle so here it's all up to you how how do you want to present it it's totally up to you and similarly you can add c d and e and change their color to match the respective color of the circle so we have matched the color with the with the respective circles and now it's the time to add information this is the main part here so here i am adding the you know the heading of each component here but you can also try a different version where you can add this heading at the top where we have mentioned alphabets a b c d e so you have this option as well so you can try that and you can add description here like heading at the top and description here so you can try different things and one more thing you can do you can create a beautiful morph transition by placing just one circle on each slide you know increase the size of this circle so that only 
one circle appear on one slide and then place the second one on the second slide third one on third slide and then apply the morph transition and then you will see the magic so you can try lots of different things and if you don't know how to create the morph transition watch my previous videos and there i have created beautiful concepts about morph transition i will also keep a link in the video description so here you can see i have placed all the content on the slide and after a few adjustments like placement and alignment i've skipped that part i've just aligned the slide using the aligned options and components and now create this rounded rectangle and change the line color to match one of the colors from the palette duplicate now change the color to blue Make sure the color is from the palette and I think three rounded rectangles are enough. So these are for the background animations. More than three will not look good and then it will uh, make the slide look quite busy and then it will affect the user attention as well. So you can place these rounded rectangles randomly over the slide in different sizes and place them without any order so so that will look good here so once all these are placed and the colors are changed apply the animation the spin animation select all these together go to add animation go to the emphasis section and apply the spin animation and then go to the animations tab and here you can see all these three animations are listed select start with previous change the duration to something between uh, 8 to 15 seconds and apply different durations for these three rectangles also add some delay for the second and third rectangle then select one of the rectangle go to effect options and select counterclockwise now two rectangles will spin in clockwise direction and one will spin in the opposite direction so that way all these three rounded rectangles have different animation styles now we have to apply the loop effect so for that right click go to the animation timing tab and select repeat until the end of the slide now the animation will run in loops and this is the final output so i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel download this beautiful slide from the g drive link provided in the video description do not forget to subscribe and joining the membership and we will see you guys in our next video and that's about microsoft excel so stay tuned